in this problem, they say Joshua wants to sell his car in five years' time. The rate of depreciation is 14% per annum. And the car's current value is 60,000 Rand. Now, this is very important. This is the current value, and he wants to sell it in five years' time from now. Now, if it's going to decrease by 14% in value, it, of course, will be worth less in five years' time and not like interest where it's worth more. Calculate the book value of the car in five years' time. If depreciation is based on, and now they ask both methods. The first method, the straight line method. The second one, the reducing balance method. So we're going to look at this question and we're going to answer this question for both methods. What do you need to remember? Your interest rate, or rather your rate of depreciation, is now 14% per annum, and the current value of the car is 60,000. What will the book value be in five years? Let's discuss this problem. First of all, let's discuss the formulas for these two methods. The first one, the straight line depreciation, the formula is A equal to P, 1 minus I N. And you will remember the one for simple interest looked very much the same in grade 10. That was A equal to P, 1 plus I N. And that's an easy way to remember these formulas. With a plus, it increases because it is interest and you, you, you gain that interest. With depreciation, it's a minus, so it becomes less. So the amount in the beginning of the period is, is, is bigger than the amount at the end of the period, which is the opposite of interest. The B part of, that we're going to, of this problem that we will discuss is the, the compound depreciation. And you remember from compound interest, this one, the depreciation, A equal to P, 1 plus, that was for compound interest, and now 1 minus i to the n. For compound interest, a equal to p, 1 plus i to the n. For compound depreciation, it is a equal to p, 1 minus i to the n. So those are the two, two formulas that you must be familiar with. So our straight line depreciation, and then, of course, our reducing balance. Now, this reducing balance is a very interesting name because it, because it's calculated, it, it is a compounding. Now, the balance will reduce. So the same with compound interest, the balance will, balance will increase because you get interest on interest. Now, you will get a depreciation on a depreciated value. And that is why they call it the reducing balance balance method. So those are the two methods and you must be able to do both of them. Please remember the amount in the beginning of the period for both of these that is your P and that is now the current value of the car which was 60,000 Rand. So P equal to 60,000 Rand and they ask us what will the value of the car be in five years' time if the interest rate of depreciation is 14%? So we want to calculate A. That is what we call, refer to as the book value of the car. We substitute the 50,000, oh, sorry, 60,000 into our formula. And we say 1 minus. Now we need to find I. Remember what we said, you can't substitute the interest rate was 14%. Remember what we said in grade 10, you must always divide by 100, which is 0 0,14. Because we're going to multiply, we do it with brackets, always safe to do that. And now you just take your calculator and you calculate that. So it's your value of your car at this point in time, at, the, at present, that is your 60,000. You're going to depreciate that vehicle 
over a five-year period at an interest rate of 14%, so 0 0.14 times the five years. And we're going to calculate the value of the vehicle, or what we refer to as the scrap value, on the straight line method. And if we do that multiplication quickly, we subtract, then we get an answer of 18,000 rand. And I hope you agree with me on that one. So the scrap value of your car on the straight line method will be 18,000 in five years' time, if the value at this point in time is 60,000. So let's now look at the B part of this question.